oftentimes families that we work with will ask us, well, how do we educate the next generation of leaders? Not all leaders are automatically born to be leaders. It takes a process of both coming to understand what your skills are, what your talents are, what you're interested in doing, and so forth. One of the biggest challenges for sons and daughters in family companies is, in fact, earning authority. You cannot give authority, you have to earn it. And you earn it by demonstrating what value you bring to the equation. Putting your family members carefully in positions where they have to demonstrate what they have to offer really does matter. One of the important tools that we have at LGA to help leaders is the 360 assessment that we've tailored for family business leaders. The advantages of using a tool such as the 360 assessment is it addresses one of the uncomfortable things in family businesses, which it's very hard to give feedback to a family member. Someone who is a cousin, someone who you're going to see around the Thanksgiving table, for example. It is a tool that one can use to help family members understand better where they want to end up, uh, what kind of career would they like, how will they participate in the governance of the enterprise. Family members can get data from people around them, raiders, and get some honest feedback about what are their current competencies and where can they grow. It is something that takes many years to both cultivate the, the pipeline of leaders who are coming in and who are rising, testing whether or not they in fact have the skills that it takes. You can have effective governance structures, you can have people in the right places, you can have done the work of articulating a dream, but ultimately comes down to whether or not you have leaders who can really lead effectively in each of the three circles.